Hi, welcome to the Arcade School. I'm Randy Fromm. During this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at the oscilloscope, and I'm going to show you how to use it, but before we get into that, I just want to take a couple of minutes to try to convince you not to buy an oscilloscope. You heard me right, don't buy an oscilloscope. Now, hang on a sec, if you already own a scope, that's great, I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you what all the knobs do. We'll look at the oscilloscope in great detail, but if you don't already own an oscilloscope, I want you to think twice before you go out and spend a couple of grand on an oscilloscope. First of all, don't buy an oscilloscope if you expect simply owning an oscilloscope to make it easier for you to fix things. It really won't. Often operators can't obtain schematic diagrams for the game. Plus, sometimes there are custom integrated circuits that make it very difficult to repair some video games. Also, don't go out and buy an oscilloscope if you just hired a hotshot technician and he says that he absolutely has to have an oscilloscope or he can't fix anything. I know lots of operators that have oscilloscopes just sitting on the shelf collecting dust because they've lost the guy that knew how to use the scope and no one else in the shop knows how to use it. In fact, that may be why you're watching this program right now. Uh, don't buy an oscilloscope if you're just repairing a few logic boards. Um, if you have a, a reasonably priced, reasonably fast, reasonably competent logic board repair facility near you, and you're just repairing a few boards, it's really much more practical to send bad boards off for repair than to try to learn dozens, actually hundreds of different microprocessor and computer systems. And finally, don't buy an oscilloscope unless you're planning on becoming very serious about electronics. Very serious. I'm not kidding here. Just owning the oscilloscope and knowing how to use it actually doesn't help you fix anything at all unless you know how to interpret the display that you get here on the screen. You have to know how the electronic circuits work, how the components work, and if the waveform that you're looking at is different than what it's supposed to be, what could possibly fail to cause that waveform to look different? So just owning an oscilloscope doesn't help you fix things. And unless you're planning on becoming very serious about electronics, I do not recommend that you get an oscilloscope. So when do you need an oscilloscope? Well, there are times when you must have an oscilloscope. If you're going to be working on digital and microprocessor systems, you're really going to need an oscilloscope. And this includes video games, pinball machines, vending games are now digital, uh, redemption pieces are digital, uh, bill changers. Um, bill acceptors have digital, little digital boards in them. Um, and so there's all kinds of uh, equipment now that uses digital, uh, what we call digital logic. And you really will need to use an oscilloscope to troubleshoot a lot of those kind of problems. If you're working on jukebox amplifiers, you'll probably need an oscilloscope. When jukebox amplifiers develop funny little distortion problems, very often the only way to track it down is with an oscilloscope. Very minor problems like distortion in an amplifier are often pretty difficult to find using just a digital multimeter. If you're the monitor specialist at a distributorship and you're working on lots of monitors, maybe dog monitors that other people have tried to work on and haven't been able to fix, you'll probably need an oscilloscope. In cases like this, you may find that the wrong parts have been installed or the part has been installed backwards. I've seen that more than once. In cases like this, uh, just troubleshooting with a digital multimeter testing components may not lead you to the problem. And active, dynamic troubleshooting using the oscilloscope with the power on and the circuits up and working may be the only way to locate the problem.